Let me don't hurt Miguel. The bitch, make this right. Let me put your hands down. Come on, Miguel. Bitch is going to be hard to bend. Candace is Chris. You guys oh, I are hate here. that. Just sharp. We're gonna see another winner. I think I love this shit. Oh, wait, I need a. F <gasps> I want the confidence of Chris. Who is on flower? Girl, you can't get Kofi. That was beautiful, Miguel. <laughs> So, well, there's more than as cold It's like a room zilla friend you are And he's touching feeling with her. She hasn't told her dad yet. The so, Rarity sister. Remember when I thought Mitch was a Republican? I love this little community. I am worried about these two. What up, Mass Fam? And welcome back to another episode of From Rizzo with Love with me, your girl Donna Rizzo. As we recap Married at First Sight, season 15, episode two, part two. Y'all, this is the Kristen image. We just finished watching part one. I know it took me a while to edit this, but we're up to Kristen image. We haven't seen another wedding. We saw Alexis and Justin. Thought that was not that great when I first saw them. But then in this episode, I kind of like it. Stasha and Nate. Listen, Stasha and Nate surprised the shit out of me. I absolutely love them. I know it's so early, so I can't talk like that, but I love them. Okay, sorry. Uh, welcome. If this is your first time here, welcome. If y'all don't know me, I am Rizzo. You may have seen me on Decision Day Dish, Married at First Sight Kickoff, uh, Married at First Sight Miss Season Special, all of that good stuff. But this is the crooks of From Rizzo with love. Cause I love this. I love to watch and review with you guys. I am different than other recaps because they recap after the fact. I recap as we watch. So it is a live reaction. So I hope you feel like you're here with me watching it because I know I don't heard many a times. Girl, that's the same thing I said. Y'all, I cannot wait. This is only episode two. You know what's crazy? It's like last season we were like, damn. Oh, episode 15. Oh, episode 16. But y'all, brand new season and we're all like, yes. I'm super excited all over again. All right, y'all. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay with me throughout the end of the video so you can answer the question of the video and interact with folks in the comments. Love to see this community interact. I love to interact with each of you guys as well. If y'all haven't noticed, I really try to comment on every single post because y'all say different things. It'd be crazy if you said the same thing and I have to write everyone, but everybody has a different like piece that they pull out. So I actually love going back and forth with you guys. Some people find things and I'm like, yo, I didn't even see that. Or I didn't even think about that. So I, I, I honestly, <laughs> it's weird. I love this little community. And to my old heads, y'all, thank you. Welcome back. I hope y'all are doing well. I hope y'all had a good July 4th weekend. Um, It's the summer. So if these recaps are late, I just need y'all to like, let it happen. Go outside. Take a little time to enjoy the view. No, okay. All right, y'all, without further ado, let's get to it. Kristen and Mitch. The Rarity Sisters. Remember when I thought Mitch was a Republican and he picks up plastic now? Mm-hmm. That was real. Are there any, I'm not trying to get political. Are there any Republicans who believe in global warming? <laughs> right, I'm done, I'm done. Mitch gonna be hard. Mitch is going to be hard to bend and compromise. The same way that they talk about Stasha and Lindy not compromising is the same way we gonna talk about Mitch not compromising. Mm. Wait, 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 yeah, wait, I need a, I need a full one. I know how bikes have baskets in the front. Your boy Mitch got a bike with a whole crate basket in the, did he, Mitch, did you, did Mitch make this bike out of plastic that he promised you? No. <laughs> Mitch, oh, what's in your tote bag? I think I love Mitch. Gentlemen's Tux Club in downtown San Diego. And I'm here. I say that now, but Mitch, I know you're gonna make it hard for me to love you later. I know. I forgot Kristen is not telling her dad until the day of the wedding. So why don't you tell him? If her dad is like, yo, I'll be there for you no matter what it is, why don't you tell him? She's a daddy's girl. I could have expected this. Mitch, Mitch, look, you look great. Just sharp. The heart. Will. Kristen walk around the beach picking up plastic. I don't think she'll be opposed to it. I want the confidence of Kristen. <laughs> Her friend said, oh my God, that dress looks so great. And she said, right? Yes, bitch, yes, I do look good. You are correct. It does, I was waiting for you to say that. <laughs> she's decisive. She's like, look, I don't need to see anymore. This is it. They said she's like real spontaneous. Yo, I see this. I know you. I mean, you. Why is Morgan talking to Dr. Pepper? Should I, should I be concerned? What is going on? I really don't know. Ben has COVID. She said, not only does he need to be well, but he needs to test negative. Do you know that people can test positive for COVID for like three months? Now, I had it twice. That never happened to me. But 
I've heard like edge cases like that. Can you imagine? Would they be like, yo, you can't do it? We know they get married because we've seen their wedding for. Oh my goodness. I really didn't know. Will get Are they going to be able to go on a honeymoon with the other couples? They're okay. going to get, get like into that. the altar. He said, no matter what, you get into the altar. Girl, he ain't get Kofi. He ain't lying about COVID. You know what would suck is if like family had flights and all this stuff. I wonder how much money they say. Y'all be getting y'all deposit back. I'm mm. Rebel with the cause. That's good. I see my wife. Like Lindy and these freckles are just so cute. Lindy and Miguel. Oh, I wonder how this is going to go. She said, I haven't been a girlfriend in so long. How the hell am I going to be wife in a few hours? That is telling. Lindy, don't hurt Miguel, okay? Y'all watch Potomac. I got my Potomac crew here. Why does Miguel's friend look like an older, Not. I don't even know if it's older, look like Chris. Older, taller, thicker, Chris. Candace is Chris. Why are they giving you like, she's a five, but your friends absolutely adore her. <laughs> when did Mindy break away from this seven day Adventist like life? Because it was with her through high school. I forget how old she is. Is this like a brand new? Because she was like, oh yeah, people in their 20s have one night stands. Like I never did that. When did she break away? Well, Lindy, I feel so like I'm Wait, y'all see his friend, his other friend. So the Chris friend looked at him and said, what if she's not into gaming? And Miguel starts going, you know, I really want to spend quality time with her. And he's about to get deep. The other friend is looking like, sir, he said gaming. Are you about to get deep on her not liking gaming? You talking about this being the quality time? And friend, they're you presence are with that, oh, my friends. Like and if she doesn't, like that. that might be a little I bit of a bummer. But is that her mom? Yeah, yeah that's her brother. Yeah, you know, dad, dad's not supportive of oh, you guys. I hate are here. that. Dad is not supportive of this process. I hate that. Dad, this is your daughter, and you're gonna miss. What if they stay together? You're going to live with the fact that you missed this wedding. Oh, y'all know how I feel about that. Don't splash your food in me, Priscilla. Okay, somebody fix that. Listen, who is on flowers? Who's on the floral arrangements here? All of these, ooh, sorry, I'm curse. All of these bouquets look amazing. The floral work on the gates. Come on, Miguel. Y'all notice he's like looking down on his side of his people. You know, that means he's nervous and that's his safety over there. He's not even looking at the other side. You know what we haven't seen yet? We haven't seen a husband go over and talk to the mom or the parents or anything like that. That's weird, we haven't seen that yet. The way he's cute is great. I would have had to pee like 17 times. She's gonna walk out. She's doing the same thing, looking at her people, nervous. Lindsay, look at him. Oh, she went in right for the Yes, friend. Yes, friend. That's your job. You're supposed to make sure her dress looks good. Yes, friend. Ugh. Lindy, me like this. PhD in Euroscience. Lindy Santiago. I'm getting emotional. This is stupid. What's wrong with me? Who's winning vows? It has to be the poet, right? I would be crazy to vote for anyone else. It's the poet. Miguel Santiago. Okay. They cut Lindy short. No? I'm yours in all things. That was beautiful, Miguel. Yeah. Uh, efficient. You walked out the way. Give this man a raise. You know exactly what. <sighs> I'm excited, but did they tell him that? I don't know. Big up. Lindy, put your hands down. What you doing? You're the woman. Get down. Poor, poor Lindy. I'm still not that hopeful for them, but okay. It's gonna be Lindy. Do we get to see another wedding now? What do we see? Or maybe they're taking the pictures. Okay. Oh, she does have an engagement ring. <laughs> Busting out Dungeons and Dragons early. You know, he said, you gonna get all of me? Here it is right now. He reading her right now? Cause I feel like he wanted to roll to see how this marriage was going. But he read that she thought that that was really weird. So he was like, I'ma just tell you the story and just hold it in my hand. Yo, Miguel also is giving me real first date vibes. And I was worried that he would be too sensitive and she would run things but he is leading this conversation. My goodness, look out, I thought you were like corny. I don't know why that was corny, I don't know. It's and he's touchy-feely with her, go. he's into it. Love look it. at the overthinker, nothing's perfect. Really? He's so touchy-feely <laughs> with her. Does Miguel like her? Okay, we're about to get another wedding. I guess that makes sense, we get three, this is good. And then next episode, we're just gonna get Morgan and Ben's wedding. Okay, wait, he just said, I wonder what side of the bed she's gonna want. She has that too. I think that was, was that her? I think so. When she said, I like the right side of the bed. What if he likes the right side of it? 
I think that was her, right? Not that they have the orange juice there for mimosas, but watch Kristen pour just the champagne. She gonna just grab him? Um, I, I don't envision it. Y'all, his star boy hit him in the head and it was bleeding really badly. So this man has two stitches. Also, y'all look ridiculous. I showed the video with that little spider crawling on his, uh, or whatever it was, crawling on his hat. And somebody was like, it was in his hat. And he has a band-aid on his head. Like, did y'all think the spider bit him on his head and it lasted? <laughs> Y'all are ridiculous. I also love that bitch is like, mm, whatever, I got hit in the head. So yeah, I have these two big white bandages. Nothing major, it's cool, I'm getting married, that's fine. I don't wanna be in the streets. Also, like, I've been wanting to be married for a long time. That's crazy, cause it sounds like you just wanna be married to be married, like, to be, to anyone. Like, not like, oh, I've been looking for partnership for a long time, like, I've been wanting to be married. I keep forgetting that she hasn't told her dad yet, cause this is crazy. <gasps> I thought he was joking with that. I don't like it. That's not what I want. And you saw that moment where his friend was talking, his brother was talking, and he just went up, let's just change the subject. That's not gonna work. Is this man a Taurus or a Cancer? Mitch, that's not nice. That's not nice. You cut him off and you got in your feelings so much that you didn't want to hear anyone else. I'm worried. Okay, we're gonna see another winner. Bitch, the short beard actually looks really good. He I doesn't like it. But about the he got a jawline. He's pretty good. Lines. I have no idea how to tie him both times. I can see Mitch getting annoyed. It's like a roomzilla. But says if he doesn't approve of it, does that mean you're not getting married? No, right? She looked like her dad. <laughs> she said, well, so, well, there's more. The Girl, get to it. We're gonna oh. get married to this shot. This is gonna be a cliffhanger. He said, I don't know. Oh my goodness. That's a lot to spring on someone the day of. And I really like their relationship too. Her dad's gonna walk her down. He's not gonna wanna, like, he's not really gonna be with the shits, but that's his daughter. You saw the relationship they have, so he's gonna walk her down, but he's gonna be super hesitant. Oh my goodness. Why would you do this the last day? I understand in person, can you, uh, it's almost like you're backing me in a corner. It's like, okay, well you have two minutes to decide, so it's now or never. And I don't like that part. I know you don't want to give me advance notice because then it'll give me more time to think and back out. But now I just feel like you're forcing my hand. And my, why is it, that was upside down. Yeah, I don't know, that's a lot. And after seeing how Mitch reacted and is reacting on all of this, I am worried about these two. I'm also worried about Mitch and Lindy because Mitch is giving me something totally different. Lindy is now giving me what Alexis talked about. That girl talk a lot. She's a little too much, too much high energy. She talks too much. She don't really care. About people. Like it's a lot. I don't know about that. She don't really care about people or how people think. We haven't seen that yet. But Miguel is into it. I think it being being married. I'm not sure if he's into her, but I think he can fit a circle in a square. So it actually don't matter. All right. Question of the episode. Put yourself in Kristen's dad's position. Are you walking your daughter down the aisle? or supporting her and or supporting her in this marriage. If this is how you were told, if this is how you felt, what are you doing? Are you upset with her? Are you concerned? I know at the end of the day, you're more concerned, but like, how are you feeling? Mm. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for joining me for this second episode, part two of Married at First Sight, season 15, episode two. Again, I am your girl, Donna Rizzo of From Rizzo With Love. Thank you so much for joining me. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Engage with folks. And let me know how you feel as Lindy's dad. I also want to know, I said Lindy's dad, it's Kristen's dad. also want to know what y'all think about this Lindy and Miguel thing. I feel like she can easily be persuaded. And Mc, this is going to sound bad, but Miguel is going to want to be like touchy-feely. And I feel like she's going to have sex with him, but then she's going to be like, ah, oh, it's whatever. And then be like, no, nah, she don't want to be with him. Mm, I'm worried about them too. This last half didn't give me hope. We got hope in the beginning. <sighs> All right, y'all. Thanks so, this upside down too. Thanks so much for joining me. Uh, I will see you guys next week for Married at First Sight, season 15, episode three. Hit that subscribe button so you can always stay in the loop and know when this is coming. Bye, y'all.